Good morning, YouTube. How are you guys doing today? Um, So somebody told me under the video that Lovely T uh, did a live stream last night. And when she was wanting to um, kind of explain uh, and lay to rest uh, a lot of these beefs, uh, rumors of beefs, uh, and a lot of things concerning the whole Star Marie, Tasha K, uh, her, you know, you know, you know, just, just lay, just dead the whole issue basically is what she said she wanted to do. So anyway, I went now, I watched the live stream, uh, and she was basically, um, you know, you know, trying to lay to rest any rumors of her and Tasha K having any kind of beef. She said that they are friends. Um, she said that, um, you know, she feels that she started started this whole thing um by posting star marie's video and making it go viral do you see what i'm saying and so since she feels like she started it she feels like she has to finish it you know she went on uh, to talk about several things um she said that star marie either star marie didn't take her video down and definitely she feels that tasha k uh didn't flag her channel down she feels like that her friend wouldn't do that to her um she she said that she took the video down now i really stand my by my conspiracy theory i'm not even gonna lie to you that that video was flagged i really believe that video was flagged but anyway she said she took the video down and she also stated that she will be taking um that video down that we were talking about and when she had all the receipts she said she's taking it off the, off of her website um she's making uh, any video or, or any instagram post that she had about star marie uh you know uh, speaking derogatorily about star marie you know when she was on instagram calling her a big brain thought um she's making those videos private um she wants to dead the issue uh she says she felt bad uh for talking derogatorily about star marie she does uh she said that she does believe that star marie is lying but she felt bad about speaking derogatorily about her because Star Marie has a mental issue. Do you see what I'm saying? And just let me say, just because you have a mental issue, it doesn't mean you have to be, uh, you know, given a pass for the wrong of things that you have said and done. You still have to be held accountable for those things. You know, it's just like saying that Star Marie goes out and kills somebody. Um, she's gonna get a pass because she's mentally ill. No, she's still gonna stand before a court of law. And she will be imprisoned in a mental facility. Okay? So you still have to be accountable for what you do. Star Marie is a 40-something-year-old grown woman. Okay? She set this whole thing off on purpose by that video uh, that she did about uh, Cardi B. But after a while, it wasn't even about Cardi B anymore. You know, at the end of the day, uh, it, it was about uh, Tasha K and Star Marie, not Cardi B and Star Marie. And it was that way about Tasha K. And, you know, she really was defending her friend, like I said, you know, uh, for, you know, she said her friend wasn't throwing shots at her. Uh, Tasha K basically did nothing wrong. But we all know because we all have our opinions and no matter how she want to did the issue uh everybody saw the shady stuff uh that tasha k did just like they saw the lies that star marie told everybody heard tasha k going on everybody's um youtube channels you know defending herself if you've done nothing wrong then you don't have to defend yourself okay and i basically think that um, you know, Lovely T, well, like I said, she was trying to defend her friend and her friend's platform. I think that's a very noble thing to do. Uh, she said she felt like it was out of her character, you know, but she got upset, you know. And the reason why she got upset, though, she didn't say this, but the reason why she got upset, I'm talking about Lovely T, she got upset because she felt like her credibility was being attacked, you know. That's why she got upset, you know. And then she kind of hold to herself. She didn't want uh, anything uh, bad to happen to her friend's platform because uh, a lot of people were coming for Tasha K. A lot of people were talking about they were um, going to unsubscribe uh, to Tasha K. Do you see what I'm saying? A lot of people were speaking a lot of truth and a lot of lies about Lovely T. Tasha K. Uh, I don't think any lies were uh, spoke against Star Marie. I think it's, I mean, she just showed us who she was, you know. And uh, But like I said, at the end of the day, I think it's noble of her to try to defend her friend. You know, defend her friend, even though, uh, in my opinion, she is more of a friend than Tasha K to Tasha K than Tasha K is to her. You know, and I realize that no, they don't have any beef. I've said that from the start. 
You know, but Tasha K really showed everybody who she was. And no matter what Lovely T says, no matter, you know, she she uh, she tried to hold herself back from crying. You know, her little feelings appear to be really hurt. Do you see what I'm saying? And it's unfortunate, you know, but you can't cape for your friend. You know, she a grown woman just like you a grown woman. And I understand you feel like you're somewhat responsible for this whole situation. You are not, <coughs> excuse me, you are not responsible for what Tasha K said and done herself. Tasha K's main problem is she refuses um, because her ego is so overblown. She refuses to humble herself, you know, and apologize like you did, lovely T. She refuses to apologize um, to her viewers and say that, you know, you know, she, perhaps she made a mistake uh, in, in wanting to believe um, Star Marie, you know, and in, in, in wanting to admit that, yes, yeah, she now realized that Star Marie um, did did have some, uh, did tell a whole lot of lies. You know, everything that she told, in my opinion, was debunked and lovely T debunked it. OK. And uh, and when she threw Star Marie under the bus for her lies, she also threw her friend under the bus for her lies. And she knows um, that she did that, but she feels bad for that because Tasha Kay's um, uh, platform did take a hit. Do you see what I'm saying? And uh, it didn't take a hit for anything that Lovely T said. It took a hit because of Tasha Kay herself and her own actions. She, she came across as being real grimy about this situation and a lot of people talking about it. Now, me, myself... I have never told anybody to unsubscribe, you know, to her. I'm still subscribed to her. Do you see what I'm saying? She's very entertaining. But, you know, she's not, evidently, she's not worried about her credibility. You know, and Lovely T is worried about her credibility. You know, she went, well, she went on to talk about uh, how the industry is trying to take over YouTube, you know, which is a larger issue in her mind to me than this whole debacle uh, because, they are trying to, um, you know, pr pretty much snuff out, uh, you know, YouTubers like Lovely T and Tasha K. And I have heard people on other platforms like the Revolt uh, that she was talking about, that whole system they got going on uh, and, and things like the Breakfast Club. They do regurgitate some of the things that some of the things that YouTubers say. Do you see what I'm saying? She mentioned of uh, the Queen Radio, had a Queen uh, radio, Nicki Minaj's radio channel that's on YouTube, how she she got that idea, she stole that idea uh, for the radio show, she stole that from T.S. Madison and Kaya, you know, I meant to do a video about that a long time ago, uh, but I didn't, because I remember all the way back when Maddie uh, and Kaya got into it, uh, when T.S. Madison that showed us the letter that she had gotten from uh, Nicki Minaj because Nicki Minaj was wanting to work with her, uh, wanting to uh, build a platform around Kaya and uh, 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 T.S. Madison. Do you see what I'm saying? But everybody knows that Nicki Minaj stole that idea from T.S. Madison and Kaya. Do you see what I'm saying? But anyway, I meant to do a video about that. Anyway, I digress. That just goes, that was her uh, using an example of that situation as to have these big corporations and movies, music industries are trying to move uh, YouTubers like her and Tasha K and a lot of others out. They're trying to uh, replace uh, people like Tasha K and Lovely T, which have large, large platforms themselves, but they want the revenue from that. And big, big corporations, you know, they have a, a whole machine behind them and they, you know, they're not wanting it to happen. So, like I said, Tasha is trying to dead this. I mean, I'm sorry, Lovely T is trying to, you know, dead this whole issue, like she said, for a whole lot of reasons. Do you see what I'm saying? And I understand where she's coming from, but you you know what? It, it, it doesn't matter how much you explain Lovely T. You still can't explain away none of Tasha's uh, actions. And Tasha has tremendous support. So Tasha going to be fine. Uh, you going to be fine. Uh, smaller YouTubers, we're going to be fine. And I really think that they took offense to a lot of us smaller YouTubers making video or uh, making content about this beef. But it's the same thing that we do uh, about any other thing that we see on YouTube or, or on the news. And we want to make a video about it. You know, we, we make content about it just like y'all do. Do you see what I'm saying? And if you're news, you're just news. You can't get offended by it. It is what it is. Everybody has a right uh, to express their own opinions and feelings like I've told you guys over and over that I, what I do is I do reaction videos now I also do my own original content but I love more than anything doing reaction videos <coughs> excuse me giving my opinion 
on uh, certain subjects, whether it be pop culture or other YouTubers, uh, some story that I've seen in the news, whatever it is, uh, I like to give my opinion via my reaction videos um, it, as to things that I see and that uh, catch my eye. And so that's what I've done by this whole situation. I never would have paid attention to this whole situation in the first place is it, if it wasn't for um, Tasha K standing behind Star Marie uh, in her lies the way that she did. Tasha K is a character flaw, okay? And and uh, no matter what Lovely T says, she can't explain away uh, Tasha's character flaw. Really and truthfully, if you really want to break it down and be totally honest about it, Lovely T, your friend could have deaded this issue with a simple apology. This issue could have been deaded long ago with a simple apology. And also, Lovely T, I mentioned uh, uh, Mona Simone and how Lovely T, I mean, how Tasha K got the, she felt like Tasha K got the interview first, you know what I mean? So she mentioned that briefly, you know, we went over that time and time again, that is what it is by now, you know, and, uh, you know, but miraculously, Mona Simone's uh, videos are, were taken down, uh, uh, Lovely T's videos are taken down, but the only people's, the only person's videos that are still up that were not bothered are Tasha K's video. So yes, we're going to spin our own conspiracy theories because we're seeing these things with our own eyes. Okay, there's some things you just can't explain away. Now, if you don't, if, if, if like I said in my video, my conspiracy video, I use the word allegedly because I am not psychic and I was not there sitting at the table, but like, you know, one plus one still equals two. It's never going to change. One plus one is always going to equal two. You know, basically it is what it is. And right is right and right don't wrong nobody. But one thing I will agree with was when she said that we all, you know, there's enough uh, you know, the YouTube is vast and there's enough room for everybody on YouTube that wants to make content and express themselves. OK, there's enough room for everybody, you know, so nobody's going to lose their bag just because somebody else made a video about something that they said. Nobody's gonna lose their bag for that. Everybody's gonna get their coins. Some might, some some people might like Lovely T and Tasha K. They obviously get more coin than somebody like I do, you know. But at the end of the day, it's all entertainment and it's all business. But you still should be credible and should you should care about your uh, viewers enough to bring them the truth, you know, to do the proper research. Uh, do you see what I'm saying? And when you get it wrong, because none of us is perfect, when you get it wrong, just go back and retract the story and say, you know what, I'm. So Sorry, I made a mistake. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. But anyway, we'll see if Tasha K makes a video. I'm saying basically, uh, you know, explaining the way, uh, basically apologizing for the wrong that she does. Now, I doubt that will happen. I'm not going to hold my breath, you know, but lovely T. You know, she didn't mind doing it. She really felt bad for the way that she acted. But like I said, she's human. We're all human. And she felt like her credibility uh, was being attacked. Her credibility was under attack. And she had every right to come out swinging and defend herself, you know. But she feels like she done something wrong. I don't. And she wants to apologize for it. And, you know, she, she, she wants to apologize for making the girl's video go viral in the first place. You see what I'm saying? And it is what it is. We all have a right to, you know, she said she was losing sleep over it, you know, and I hope this makes it right in her soul. But we all have to stand accountable uh, for what we do. You know, it's a, we have a real problem in the black community with not 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 accepting re, uh, accountability and not taking responsibility for a lot of stuff that goes on, not only in the black YouTube sector, but in the black community as a whole in general on and off social media. OK. And uh, anyway, before I go, I want to show you guys this. This is from a one of those Facebook like posts or uh, from a uh, you know content creator by the name of Sunday Omni. I haven't seen she's got a video about this. I haven't seen the video yet, but I just want to read. I just I, I just really liked what she said and the way that she put this. Um, she said exclusive. Cardi B's former roommate and co-worker um, Star Marie confirms she suffers from uh, mental head trauma and and uh, concussions. She said allegedly. <laughs> and you really have to say allegedly behind anything that Star Marie says because we know nine times out of ten is probably a lie. I, but I did hear somewhere before that she uh, had some kind of head trauma. You see what I'm saying? And because of that, she's got a mental issue. Because of that, I've heard that before. Like I said, I wasn't there. I'm not psychic. I don't know if it's true or not. So she put allegedly at the end of it. And then the second paragraph says, YouTuber and blogger uh, Lovely T 
uh, 2002 defends her friend YouTuber Unwind with Tasha K. Lovely T plans to make her viral videos regarding Cardi B's co worker and roommate, um, Star Marie. Um, thirteen private. She plans to, and I said that earlier that she made. She said, uh, uh Star Marie thirteen. She plans to make them private. Uh, allegedly, <laughs> I'm liking this allegedly part right here. And the last paragraph simply says that Lovely T stands behind everything, uh, um, that she revealed in her videos, but doesn't want to cause drama or harm uh, to a person struggling with mental health concerns. Allegedly. A lovely T says, I believe the lady is a liar, and yes, I believe she has issues. Uh, and that last little part was a quote. All right, but anyway, uh, you see the caption down here, and uh, she does have a video uh, about this. And um, yeah, I guess I'll look at it after I get off here, but I'm gonna, I want to show you guys that in case you want to check her out. I had never heard of her uh Honestly, before I seen this going down my stream, because like Lovely T, I don't look at a lot of uh, YouTubers, uh, because when I get to, uh, you know, looking at a lot of YouTubers, that gives me, uh, you know, uh, more content uh, and more reaction videos, and uh, and, and I'm, I'm forming opinions, okay? I went to school for a very long time uh, in order to learn how to read people, okay? And so, because uh, I do have that background and training, I can read people, all right? I know what you think. I know what you like behind your eyes. Just let me let me say that. And a lot of stuff that I could have said about uh, uh, Tasha K, I didn't say. A lot of stuff that I could say about Lovely T, I didn't say because you never say the meanest thing that you can say to a person uh, about a person. Not even on social media. I don't. Now some people. Uh, or very cutthroat on social media, but me, I'm just speaking the truth. I'm just telling it like it is. Do you see what I'm saying? I am a very blunt person. I am not a mean girl, but I, uh, I don't like liars. You know, uh, for somebody to tell a lie to me, that's a pet peeve, and I will be done with you forever because I don't like liars. And because I don't like liars, I'm not going to lie to you uh, on screen or in my real life. I don't like lies, and I don't like liars. You know, for that reason... Uh, if I get anything wrong, I will come back and let you know that, hey, you know, I got this wrong. But anyway, guys, that's all I got for now. I just wanted to um, do my reaction video to Lovely T's live stream that she did last night. Um, and maybe this issue will be dead, you know, uh, you know, because, you know, Lovely T uh, felt like she had to come on and take a, accountability, basically, uh, for this whole situation, this whole debacle. But she does not. She is not responsible for uh, anything that her friend said or did. She's not responsible for anything that's Star Marie said or did, she's only responsible for herself. Do you see what I'm saying? At the end of the day, but she tried to make it right. She did what she can do, but people are still going to form their own opinions, you know, in their own judgments. We have a right to do that, as well as we have a right to make content, even if it's about other content creators. Because like she said, there's enough coin around here uh, for all content creators that make these types of videos. All right. Anyway, that's all I got for now, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye. Peace.